Live from the Safe Auto Insurance Studios. What's up? This is Wale right here on 107.5 WGCI FM Chicago. This is where the stars hang out. Wale! I know we gotta be quick. GCI, what's up? Wale is here, man. Welcome. Get comfortable. We brought you some heralds, man. We just left there. We just left there. I'm, I'm looking at the picture right now. Tell yeah. me about this, man. Were you were you in the back? Nah, were you the I was chef? just saying, like I love I love the fried fish there, like, but you can't convince somebody who doesn't like. Fr- I took a bite of fried chicken. That's why I was in the bathroom. <laughs> I just said that too. Like I like I tried. Like I'm I, like I, you know I'm all for black owned businesses though. Yeah. You know, but they fried they fried fish was on one thousand a day. On one thousand. Yeah. Nice man. Well, yo man, did you realize? Did you ever think that that song would be as big as it became? Or as big as it is, it was still in my four play four countdown. You know what's crazy? It almost made a, it. Was almost a mixtape record. Really? Yeah. It was. It was a. It was Ross. It was timing. It was Jeremiah who contributed to to it being the album record. But, right. Now, speaking of the BET Awards, you just mentioned Jeremiah, mm-hmm. Elder Barge. I mean, you know, that's my boy and all, but whose idea was was it to have him do Jeremiah's part? Because well, we, 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 we when I was watching it, I felt like it was like Soul Train 1989 all over again. Well, we couldn't <laughs> find it. Like, it's hard to get people that are on tour to, to, to do the stuff with you, so, you know, that's what that was. It's, it's just Jeremiah, a good friend of mine, and I didn't want to compromise his schedule. You know, he was overseas at the time, yeah. so you know, that, you know that had to go. And just to let everybody know, you know, that's true what you said because, you know, everybody often wonders why even at concerts people don't show up as they do on the album or on the song because now everybody's on mm-hmm. collaborations right now, man. Um, I'm going to just go through this interview real quick because I know you got to head up to the WGCI Coca-Cola Lounge, but I was reading that you and Kid Cudi are making a song, or I have made a song already. You're making good on your promise to collaborate on a song together. Tell me about that song, man. Um, it's a song called Focus. It's actually available on iTunes right now. It, it, it's, it's basically for our, for our fans, man. We got so many fans combined. Some people, a lot of people that love both of us, a lot of people that love us separately. Yeah. And we just want to do something to commemorate, like, you know, our hustle, our grind, and get where we are. And, um, you know, it's something that the fans is digging right now, you know. Yeah. Uh, they, they, they feeling my vibe right now. They feeling Cuddy's vibe, man. A lot of us saw, like, discovered us together. So, yeah. you know, I just want to do something that was important to the people. Shout out to uh, Cuddy and all good music. Now, that, now you're, you're, I think you already had the pre-sale going on right now, right? Yep. And the album drops on the first. Yep. Is that song going to be on the album? Because yeah, oh, it is. Yeah, it's on it. It's on okay, it. Okay, because blogs were saying it that was it was. A, it was a, it was a false um, track, track, track list, list that came out. Yeah. Okay, so it's official. It is going to be on there, and it comes out eleven one eleven. Yeah. Um. I see you tweeting because we follow here, mm-hmm. you, you here on uh, WGCI. What is this you're tweeting about Meek Mill? Are, what are people saying trying to make you guys nah, turn against we, each we, other? A lot of us, like on the red carpet and stuff, we always play around. Like, you yeah. know, Ross might pop up on my joint, and I yeah. might pop up on Meek, and Meek might pop up on mine. Okay. Ball. And, you know, a publication kind of ran with that and tried to uh, make That must have been a slow day in media because <laughs> I talk to Meek every day. Like, you can't do that when people talk to each other every day. And you can't do that when you guys are publicly saying, like, yo, you know, I mean, mm-hmm. I, I saw you talking to him on Twitter. Like, really? All right. Talk to um, him before I got here, man. Right. So, Rick Ross, mm-hmm. two seizures on Friday. He good. He's good. Ross I saw good. you tweet that. Ross good. Ross yeah. good. God forgives I don't come in December 13th. Okay, good, uh-huh. good. Um, I saw also he already opened up or did the grand opening of the uh, his chicken joint. Uh, yeah. Was it Wingstop? In yeah, Memphis? Wingstop in Memphis, yeah. And then uh, you got we was up there. and everything. Yeah. We was up there, you know what I'm saying? I was up there, you know, the food was good. Yeah. And I'm thinking about opening one uh, in D.C. Okay. All right, bet. He also said he's not taking planes anymore, man. For what? Tour buses. Yeah, well, that's the, that's the, that's our, that's our thing. You know, the, uh, we got a lot of fans and I, you know, we talked about just us, you know, connecting with people along the way. We don't gotta be flying and yeah. all that. I was like, let's just go city, city. You know what I mean? So I mean, I, I didn't know that he, he he said that, but you know, he the boss is good. Um, Meet good, yeah. kill good, gunplay good, torch good, the magazine good, Deuce Pound good. The whole team is well at hand. Everybody's grinding, torch, young breed. We all out here. And Harold's is good. And Harold's is great. The fish is great. Chicken is good. <laughs> Wale is here. He's working his way up right now to the WGCI Coca-Cola Lounge. It's going to be a live video stream right now where you can check him out. WGCI.com with Wale. We here. We here. Shot town my second home. Yo, what's up? This is Wale, and I'm rocking with the very best. UB Rodriguez, 107.5 WGCI. Dale, dale.